often referred to as the Iron Man suit because of its futuristic looks, an exoskeleton is an external apparatus that can be strapped onto a human body. Available in two variants, passive or active, the exoskeleton can take the form of a third arm or hand, or a support for the knees, back or the whole body. Since the 1960s, it has been adopted by the medical and civilian sectors and, of course, the military. For the US Army, the first significant effort started in 2011, when DARPA launched its Warrior Web program, followed by the US Special Operations Command Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, also known as TALUS initiated in 2013. Talos aimed to equip, under a five-year program, next-generation warfighters for military operations in urban terrain, and unveil a fifth-generation working prototype by 2018. However, after millions of dollars had been spent, the program proved difficult to realize because of its complex subsystems interdependencies that made the technology unable to work as a whole. These flaws led to what the industry described as an abrupt end to the Talos program in February 2019. By March the same year, US SOCOM had already awarded Sarcos Robotics a contract to deliver a pre-production version of its Guardian EXO full-body autonomously powered robotic exoskeleton. This bulky exoskeleton is able to operate for up to 8 hours per battery charge, while walking at 3 miles per hour and carrying up to 200 pounds of payload. The US military's pursuit of a reliable exoskeleton extends from Socom to the US Army, which in 2018 awarded Lockheed Martin a $6.9 million two-year sole source agreement contract to enhance its Onyx exoskeleton. Onyx is a powered lower body exoskeleton with artificial intelligence technology that augments human strength and endurance. Developed by Lockheed Martin through a license from biorobotic technology manufacturer Btemia, Onyx uses electromechanical knee actuators a suit of sensors and an AI computer to learn user movements in order to support the soldier at the right time. Onyx also showcases how AI and sensors can increase the physical performance of soldiers. However, solving a requirement through the use of sophisticated tech can lead to a cascade of evolutionary developments. Current exoskeletons that are being developed or used by army soldiers perform physical augmentation through AI and sensors. The data generated by AI is processed within the exoskeleton and remains within the system. Soldiers and commanders lack the ability to see and use the exoskeleton data to improve long-term performance. 
as there is currently no system that integrates these data sources or provides insight into more detailed physical performance analysis for operations and training. For these reasons, the US DOD is currently looking for an exoskeleton sensor data fusion and insight system, and there are currently open requests for proposals. Further east in Asia Pacific, the Singapore Army has confirmed it is in the process of trialing exoskeletons designed by Canadian company Mawashi as part of an effort called Project Virtual. These clips show soldiers wearing the Uprise passive exoskeleton. Uprise consists of a flexible spine linked to a sliding belt and leg frame made from titanium. The system can transfer 50 to 80% of the load from a soldier's shoulders to the ground. These wearable robots could potentially change the lives of soldiers and civilians and are set to raise the bar of technological development.